having the shenanigans. And I caught that finally. All right, uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, back, we are back from our little break. Uh, we'll be seeing what happens with part two of tonight's episode, or with part two of tonight's stream. Is, uh, stream is not back stream. up. Should be. I see nothing. Refresh. Or I, I see. I see the. Sc- I see the waiting screen. The ten minutes. No, oh, there we go. You ha- uh, streaming has a twenty second delay on it. Uh, twenty seconds. I thought it was only like <laughs> five or six seconds. The That's intro my- into the break has now been ruined, Bazek. Way to go. <laughs> so now in twenty seconds you can see yourself mess up. <laughs> yeah, that is pretty much it. <clears throat> oh well. I mess up all the time. This is nothing new. <laughs> yeah, I put a little bit of a delay on it just to kind of help buffer my computer and give it a little bit of leeway. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. But, anyways, we'll go ahead and get back to burning uh, burning up this tavern uh, right now. Uh, Zeri, it's your show. It's back to being my show because my long con has pulled off. Yeah, I've done it. Okay, so we got Gorm who's doing his thing. Be careful. Carefully deciding he's probably going to go and explore a building soon. Uh, Harmony, <laughs> Harmony, you left Steve and Daphne behind. And you come down here. Where's your token? I'm over by the, over by Rafi. Okay, you're going to have to go small now. Ginormous. Yeah, and and you come okay. to a scene with a babbling, ranting fairy of how, what, what, how did they even, what, yeah, so how did they you're find it, right? how did they reconnect it, how, how did they reconnect it? Vidna, dear, uh, take a moment, catch your breath. <laughs> <laughs> I know I just cast a, ha- a haste spell on me, but that was just on me. Take a minute, breathe. What are you what talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> okay, I see. So when I show up, so I see this like glassy-looking portal thing. I look at him. I look. I'm like, okay, Vinda's incoherent. I look, like Rafi, you know what this is? Rafi comes up. Looks at it, almost like a cat looking at a bowl of milk. Picks his paw up, he pokes at it, and as he pokes, he puts one paw. He puts one paw on it, and you see a slow ripple. <coughs> one single ripple go throughout the whole thing, and the glass for an instant looks almost liquid, and then it goes right back to glass. Cool. Well, um, I have a good to you. This goes to uh, the Crimson Forest Tavern <laughs> in Zagata. That, what? How? How? How could they? Why are they connecting it to even? How, never mind. How? All right then. Uh, how many do you wish to pursue, Michael or whoever? I, I assume his name is Michael. But uh, a gentleman was standing here when I came by wait, and wait, managed to wait, step wait, into wait, it. Wait, wait, wait. I did. Rafi and... looks. Rafi looks between all of you guys. And then he goes into the portal. All right, I'm going after him. <laughs> Vinda's uh, protests aside, I'm just like, well, we're going after the cat. As you go by, uh, as you go by the uh, harmony, as you go by, uh, hopefully, let's see what happens. But I'm going to cast haste on you just in case, because that's oh fun. yeah, haste on harmony. That's what he needed. He needed because he's slow. He needs speed because he's got a lot of armor on. This is great. That is actually going to be a success. Uh, oh, I can make two targets. Okay, you get plus one to your attack, plus one to your defense. All your speed is doubled, plus one to all physical tests. Oh, this is great. Plus one to my attack rolls? Well, Michael's super screwed, everybody. It was nice knowing Michael. Although he may have escaped because we've been standing around for a while. <laughs> all right, so you guys, are, I'm leaving you guys with the babbling Vinda. I'm going after the cat. No, Vinda's uh, dived in after the cat. Yeah, Vinda's uh, dived in after uh, after you. Uh, Ari is going to be the target of, of the second target of his spell, and he's going to co- go in with you. 
Yep, and Winter's going to look around like, uh... She's going to quickly move to Daphne. <coughs> yes. Like, because Winter's she just, heard the um, story of Daphne being left behind. <laughs> like, um, Winter, make sure Gorb knows where we went, but I need to go after Rafi. <laughs> You hear that as you leave. Okay, so let's. Uh, so Harmony, you're the first one through. You step into the portal, and um, you kind. You, you seem to almost like in, you as you get lowered in. You rise up into the next room, and at first it's kind of dark, and you can see like sort of a dark tunnel. And you see what looks to be like a light of some kind, almost like a grate. Coming through, coming from a great um, light, you see it shining down. You see, and you follow it down, and you you notice Rafi in front of you. He seems to be. You first see him sitting in the light, but then he he seems to be staring at something sadly, and he he's pawing at it and meowing. And as you look over at, at what he's looking at, you see what looks to be a body. And it, and as you look closer, you can see that it's actually Novi. You see, she's barely breathing, and she's she seems to be uh, pressed up against the wall, breathing slowly. And Rafi's just sort of patting at her. You hear voices up above you. Oh, right. I'm gonna run over to Novi and then if look to see if Curiosity's coming behind me. Okay. So it's a few seconds more, and and you hear you can hear Vinda shoot up out of the portal and in that and in a few more seconds waiting for curiosity you reach novi and you see she's been badly wounded she's uh, she's been stabbed through her, the abdomen and next to her is another body it looks like a band uh, one of the thugs but he seems to be dead and you can see novi's blade is actually inside of him but um you see but it, it, you look up and you can see that there's the grates slightly open and it kind of looks almost like Novi was just pushed into, it just like shoved down here and left to die. And you can hear above you hear voices saying, what? They weren't, they're never supposed to be here. They're never here. Well, we were, we were rushed. What are we going to do about this? What are we going to do? We'll deal with it later. She'll probably die anyway. And then we can deal with it. So as Venda comes through, I'm like, like hand up, like pointing, like, Quiet. And just like whisper, like, is curiosity coming? Like no visor. As soon as you say that, you as soon as you say that, you see curiosity also rises from the from the portal. It's like grab him. Like it's like we're pulling him over. It's like it's like what? It's like putting a hand over mouth, <laughs> pointing up, pointing to Novi. It's like all right, so yeah, so he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna. Try Am I to... supposed to be able to see this area of the map here? Uh, no. Because we're still under the grate, so you see like you're the little underneath. grate thing. It's like it's like yonder. I'm or I, I am assuming that okay. that is the grate that so we're. So what's on. the portal on this side? Yeah. The portal what, can is. Can you see uh, underneath here? We can. We can't see any um tokens that are in there. We can see the surface for some reason. Oh. I think okay. it's because I think it might be slightly below where the um the thing is. So okay. yeah, we can see okay. we can see the, the surface. We just can't see any yeah, tokens. Okay. You're, then you are correct. The grate that you see in the center is what you're underneath. You yeah. can hear you can hear the chattering and you're like well, well, if we don't get rid of it now, the boss is gonna the boss is gonna come after us all. I just don't really feel comfortable. It's like, we're, we're just I've never killed anyone before. I'm like, well, it's fine. We'll figure something out. We gotta get out of here, though. We gotta get out of here. They're right behind us. I'm sure that it won't take them very long to figure out it's a portal. Okay. When I hear that, if Curiosity's going to Novi, I'm just be like, point to Vinda and be like, <laughs> like we gotta, we gotta go. We gotta go. Uh, we gotta go yep. How how big is the grate? Uh, that's in how much space is there between the the bar? I mean, it was big enough for 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 Novi to fall through. So that's, that's about people sized. Oh. Huh? So I you mean, can definitely. Bars? Not the, no, not they the moved whole... the grate. They moved the grate <laughs> away from it to throw yeah. her down there to hide they her body, grate. basically. Right, her body and the body of the thug. So yeah, 
Wind is going. Uh, wind is going. Portal crash. Did you you, you <laughs> cut out? We're we just going up. Hello. Okay. Okay. Are you sorry? Going are you gonna? Go? You're going up. We're rolling initiative for these poor little thugs that are about to get a portal clashed out of their minds. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I kind of figured once I put Novi in the mix that these guys weren't going to live, so I'm prepared for them to be murdered. <laughs> I was just hoping the other ones might escape. <laughs> well, don't worry, two of them did. <laughs> there are three of them are dead. I don't know how he's keeping score. There are three dead ones. There are only three living ones. <laughs> There's one unconscious doofus who runs the bar. <laughs> no, because you guys are under the grate. We'll just put you guys over here for now. And Winter, you said you were coming too? And uh, yeah, I was telling, I was telling Daphne what's happening. Telling her to keep an eye out for him oh, until right, I right. go. Okay. Busy. And then I was running through. Ari, you arrive about the same time as Vinda finishes her action here, whatever she's doing. Okay. And then we'll roll for initiative again. Okay, so... Hmm. Okay, how how high up is from where the others are to above? Okay, so... So uh, from also, the what shape? What? Yeah. Also, what shape is um, Portal Clash? Is it spherical or is it just uh, more it's on a plane? It's a circle. Um, the grate okay, is then. about <laughs> the grade is about twelve feet up from the ground, and then the basement, the the basement um, from the floor to the ceiling is about eight feet. Okay. So from the ground of, but, um, from the ground of the sewer to the grate is about twelve feet, and then from the floor of the basement to the top of the basement is eight feet. If you're asking for movement, you can get up to the bottom no, of the. No, not for movement. It's for portal clash because I didn't. I, I was I was gonna try and avoid portal clashing the others, especially with Novi there. And put... Yeah, you can if you get if you get clear get up to the grate, you can fly up to the top and, and and do it, where it won't affect them. Because Portal Clash doesn't go through the oh. wall. It doesn't go through the ground, so... Okay, yeah, I don't know, I'm confused, I'm a little confused, but... but... You can do it, just if you, you're, what we'll say is you're going to fly up to the top of the grate, and from there you'll do it. If the Portal Clash won't come down on through the wall, through okay. the floor. Winter. Oh no. Oh, there she is. Did you succeed, Eagle? Um. <laughs> Go ahead and use your points if you have to. Uh. You still have three. Hey, I've got inspiration. Yes, you do. Seriously. <laughs> Better than what you rolled just a second ago. So, uh... So, use, use my points, you say? That, that, um, yeah. Yeah, Who's that's what the points, Luke. <laughs> yeah, that's what those points are for is to kind of cover up some of the stuff like this. Go ahead. That's what inspiration is for is to do stuff like this. I am trying to math here. Okay, um, I've got three. So 
I just I, th I think I just need the one point. Yeah, I just need Okay. Um, now. So, Portal Clash, which is four square radius. <laughs> um, 1d6 plus will penetrating damage, and they're not prone. If they, um, they, they can, they can test for uh, spell power versus might to reduce the damaged and not I mean they'll probably fail but whatever they could really succeed they could they could do the things they could roll that sixes low power is 14 what do they have to roll it with what they, what's low power uh might might you said might. straight might yeah, that's <coughs> 12 that's 12 Oh, she said target number was 14. So they fail. Yeah. They... So they fail. Yeah. So make them fall flat. Ooh. What's the damage on that? And also, is it penetrating? Yes, it is penetrating, and that is... Oh, oh my will is... Having to check everything. I why can I not remember? What power is four? So um, yep, they get they take ten penetrating damage. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's, that's that's good. And go prone. Oh yeah, that. Rainbows and excellent. Sparkles. Oh, excellent surprise round. Excellent. Harmony approves. <laughs> Angry fairy is not fun. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. I am awake! Sorry. I am awake! Sorry, sorry. It's surprisingly not that loud in my headset. Help me, Georgia! Help me! Help me! Help me! Help me! Okay. My okay, heart so. a few beats. I have to do now. <coughs> yeah, go ahead and roll your initiative. Um. So, S. <laughs> Did you roll really well again? No, what's Curiosity's bonus to his, um, his, um... Oh. His... Initiative. Here's his... <coughs> Three. So he rolled a ten. Ooh, I rolled a thirteen. Tyler, I'm going to let you mess with that. All right. Yeah, All right, so, Vinda, you have an 18. <laughs> Is that correct? Oh, gosh. All right, so, uh, Aerie, what do you got? Killed. What do you got, Aerie? I got an 11. I rolled low. Got an 11. Um, anybody else in this fight? No, okay. So, um, the thug's got a 7. Uh, well, that's unfortunate for them. <laughs> I mean, it, it makes sense, but yeah. All right, so the order is Vinda, um, and then me, and then Airy, and then Curiosity, and then the bugs. Mm -hmm. Winter, why don't you is... go ahead and roll initiative too, since you're since you're planning on coming down here. I mean, they'll be dead before you get here, but you know. <laughs> yeah. But there could be somebody still alive. Maybe. 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 
Why did you get winter? Uh, a nine. They could be dead. <laughs> they could be dead this time. Okay. So, Venda, you seeing what's going on, you take a clue from Harmony. And you slowly glide up, careful not to take <coughs> attention. You glide up as the as you and then you uh, you see these three thugs kind of huddled around what looks to be like a crate of uh, liquids, and um, you watch them hovered over, like looking back and forth, having a, a conversation. And you, as you rise, you begin to to create the magical rainbow of colors, and without warning. <coughs> Right behind them, you send a shock wave that shatters most of the glassware in the room, and you shatter. You hear, you hear as as liquid goes spilling all over the place, and you see as the as the bandits, unprepared, fall over flat on their face, you crushing their bodies to the ground. There, just, the rest of you hear a loud cacophony cacophony of just, just as as the sound reverberates uh, in the small space up above you. Um, and with, with that, Ben gets to go again. Uh, <laughs> hmm. From above, from the DC. Oh, yeah. How about Ray of Forest on all of them? There are three, right? I yes, there are. Yeah, I can I can spend more magic points to hit multiple targets. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> MVP of let's the just night. Hope that the dice, let's just hope that the dice cooperate. <laughs> yep. Aww. Or not. Mm. Nope. Not, not. Not enough. Nope. Uh, that usually happens when you roll a one, a two, and a three. It doesn't go so well. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, the, the, the dice cooperated for the. <laughs> they, they they cooperated for the initiative, not for the spells. Okay, so Benda, as you're, you 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 clash your portals together, and you then seeing as it won't kill, finish them off, you pr start preparing your your force uh, magic, and you start preparing the the words, and as you're doing that small flecks of glass uh, actually uh, fly into you and you take a, you take a, they scratch at your arms and st a little bit and you take a little bit of damage as you're trying to avoid, trying to avoid being hit and it knocks the spell out of, out of concentration. But, good start, it was a good opening. Um, and that makes it Harmonies, which actually weirdly fits, so it would be Harmonies who's next. Yeah, so it's like, uh, it's like a curiosity, it's like, fix her. <laughs> And I'm shooting up. I'm shooting up this this uh, this thing as fast as I can. Mm -hmm. It's only six. It's only <coughs> six feet above you. So you get up. You see the three of them are pummel are, are on their on their bellies down on the ground, slowly trying to pick themselves back up. All right. What happened to my token? My token vanished. Oh wait. There's my to there. There my there my token is. I found it, guys. Okay, so I th all right, I'm gonna. I'm, I need to make a roll for something. <laughs> Are we rolling for for Harmony's Hulk rage? Roar, oh yeah, no, Harmony that's smash. Uh, nope. He got nope. All right, yep, nope. He so he comes up like ri like pretty angry, but like not like rage angry. He just looks so he he just walks up. So he's gonna um just like. Just, Use the back of his spear and like smack the like just whip him basically in the back of the head as he comes up. Okay. Um. So yeah. So, so they're prone. So they have is it disadvantage or like what's the penalty for them being prone versus a melee attack? So if you have twelve. I thought it was a plus 12, Don't worry about it. Just roll. I rolled a seven. I rolled a seventeen. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, my aim is to knock him unconscious. Okay. You can only attack one, right? Yes, unfortunately. Wait, okay. no, yeah, because I don't have any stunt points. If I had, if I had stunt points, then I would, I would have attacked more than one with a lightning attack. But that's okay. I'll be like. Mm -hmm. So 
Yep, that's, uh, that's what I'm doing. I mean, it's not going to take much for you to do this. <coughs> What's your damage? Uh, do I need to... Oh. You still got to roll for damage. If it, if it goes over. Uh, um, that's... Uh, 10 damage. Yeah. 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 So you, you get up, you quickly assess the situation, and surprisingly being able to hold the urge to kill them all uh, in the moment. Uh, you take the back of your your spear and conk the first one you see, and as he's getting up, he just falls right back down. Um, yeah, he seems to be like, I suggest you all stay on the ground. Okay, as you say that, you can see that they're both kind of blurry eyed and maybe not <coughs> not as quite aware as they were a second ago. <laughs> um, Barry, you're up. Okay. Uh... Is there a set of stairs or anything going up out of this thing, or... Nope. Okay. Then I jump. Or at least try to parkour off. I want to use my dexterity for it to parkour off and whatnot, because I have three decks. You do dexterity acrobatics. Okay. Yeah, I have a... Great parkour moment. With your haste, you're like quick, so you're just running... Running lost. (laughs) Unless I roll stupid low. Oh, that sucks. Okay. I do get one stunt point. That's a total of five. Plus... <clears throat> uh, I've still got two points if, <laughs> if that helps. I'm not sure. That's a pretty terrible rule. <laughs> uh, yeah. I brought it up to a nine. I can't... Do much more than that. Yeah, what, what was the difficulty? What, what would it... uh, it'd probably be an 11 or 12. At least. Yeah, probably. I'm not sure you can say if it's a terrible roll. Well, uh, wait. It was a terrible you said he got it to 9? Then yeah. two more would be 11. Yep. If it's an 11 difficulty. So, so the points would do it. Maybe. It's a 12 foot, uh, a 12 foot leap. Uh, Aerie is. Well, oh, it's 12. No, 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 no. It's 12 feet from the ground. From the ground up. The you're, you're like seven foot. So yeah, I'm, well, seven ten. So I'm almost eight foot. So it's not it's that only like a four foot vertical. Yeah, yeah, it's not hard. Yeah, because your your arms would probably reach up almost. So you'd only really have to jump like two feet up. Yeah, never mind. That seems pretty doable. Yeah, I'd say yeah. The yeah. Your front. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm on board with this plan now. Yeah, it's it's not that hard for you. And, and so. Being, and being a, a former spy, and you know, this is kind of what you do. You just you come out from the portal, you kind of assess what's going on. So am I even though really the not much has been communicated to you, you know, even though not much has been communicated to you, you can see Nova, you can see what's going on, and you can put it together and immediately hop up and pull yourself up the grate. You can see, you see, as Harmony knocks one unconscious, and the other two are, and, and it says his words, and the other two are kind of stumbling about. So you manage to pull yourself up off out of the grate and onto the floor. Okay. So, you are. <coughs> I moved myself over there. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, Ari will then look at, uh, at Harmony and then just reach down and grab one of the uh, thugs uh, by the neck and will ready in action. And we'll just say, Welcome to the Dominion. Do you surrender? <laughs> okay. Uh, that makes it curiosity turn. Yeah, so I don't, what, what's his like best healing spells that he's got, he's got going here? <laughs> what's his best healing spells? Uh, complete, full, utter healing because he's got the spell power to do it. <laughs> pretty, pretty much, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure what because he yeah, can he can also use the healing touch, also. Oh, he only leveled the nine. That's so lame. But plus his ridiculous bonuses. 
I don't know what target touch. numbers. Nine. That would be nine plus his willpower, so that's five. Because I think he's journeyman. Why doesn't he have his focuses up here? Because he's lame. Oh, he does. He, he just put them... <coughs> oh, what's it? Yeah, okay. Never mind. He does. Okay. Um, so that's nine plus seven, so that's sixteen. That probably hits him. The target number. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you can use healing touch if you want. Um, that will restore one d six per the magic points he spends. He can spend up to three. Um, yeah, I think he's gonna spend. This. It seems worth it to spend three. <laughs> so that's thirteen plus whatever gets added. Oh, healing touch. I. I have that spell. Da, 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 da. So that would, I believe is 13 plus, is uh, plus the 7. That's. That's 20. So I, should, I believe that that is 20 hit points. Okay. And then this so, one he can cast something as like a bonus action or like a minor action too. He can, so he can do two healing things per round. I know he can do that. He's done it before. Because he healed himself and Airy that one time when they were in the canyon every turn. Yeah. I, that's. If I had to guess, I would say that healing hands can trip as a bonus action. Oh, yep, yep, yep. That's, yeah, that's what it was. So then he'll, yeah, he'll use that too. Okay. Okay, so that'll succeed. And then that's one. And then that's, <coughs> the stunt die was a four. So then that's 11. Plus that's 10. So that's 14. Yeah, 14. Okay. Right. Yep, so, so she's at 34. Okay, so yeah, she's... See, I don't like, because it's like, she's... Okay, she, she's technically at full HP, but it's... Yeah. No, it's she's magic saying, healing. If, it, if it's up at full HP, that means her wounds are healed. Like, that's how it works. I still feel like there should be... Not, okay, no. Nope. She, went right from, she went from mortally wounded to full health in just under six seconds. She's going to be grossed. Because, well, she's yeah, she could be grossed. disoriented and such, but, oh, like, yeah. if she's still injured in some capacity, yeah. she's going to be uh, upset. No, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, so she, also, if she was newly, unconscious, newly that doesn't mean she necessarily... And really probably... Is. So she... So she, uh... He puts his hands on her, on her wound... And it's not just her, it's not just her, she's been stabbed, and she's also been shoved down this hole, so she, there's been some bruising, some broken bones to it on the way down. Um, but he concentrates and puts all his effort into, into healing her, and manages to restore her, her body, at least. Uh, she doesn't, she sort of semi-comes to consciousness, but isn't still super aware of what's going on around her. Novi, Novi, are you alright? She just sort of shakes her head and sort of looks, tries to look around, but it's, it's very dark and she's having trouble kind of understanding what's going on around. <coughs> I feel like if Kirasi saw that she was trying to understand, like that it was dark and such, then he would try and glow brighter to make it easier for her to see what was going on. Okay. Okay. Uh, so that's his turn. Uh, Winter, you're explaining to Daphne what's going on? Kind of, at least attempting. <laughs> um, okay, you see, you go, okay you, so pause on the Mortal Kombat, go back to Daphne, and you see, as you walk into the bar, you see uh, Daphne sitting with her new friend Steve, and they're just sitting there. She's got the, uh, the, the barkeep is now laying down, still unconscious, but on the actual bar tab, and, she, and she's keeping her eye on him. She's actually resting her cup on his head, and Steve has another cup of ale, and you see him, like, he's drinking it, but he's just kind of keeping an eye on her, and he's clearly not certain what's going on right now. And Daphne's looking at him, and she looks at you, and she comes in, and she's like, oh, someone decided to come tell me that you're still alive, eh? Or that I'm a Still a important part of the babysitting team. Um, so, there, there's evidently a portal in there leading to the guy. Yeah, I already know this. This is old, old news. Uh, well, everybody went through it. So... I kind of figured that would happen when I heard there was a portal. Mm -hmm. Seems like that follows. 
So which is why we're I'm not leaving you behind. We're, we're not leaving you behind. We're planning on coming back. Is <laughs> so just, just just letting you know because I know you have bad experiences with people leaving you behind. But um, you I know, do. You I, I really let, really do. But could you let Gorm know? You know that. Oh, Gorm, the... yeah, sure, whenever he decides to show up. He'll and you look around the corner and you see Bramble with, um, with the, um, the guy, with the barkeeper, just, like, behind the bar, like, looking oh, over, like, what? Oh, yeah. Bramble, you might want to come to... No, no, I've had the, the... I'm not babysitting alone. The plant's been helping me. <laughs> <coughs> what? I want another, I've been trying to offer him beer, but he keeps saying no. Maybe the plant thing. Bramble's a tree oh. kid. If he wants to keep an eye on the, uh, on that guy, he can. But can you let Gorm know that? <laughs> yeah, we all went through the portal, and I'm going to. If he ever if... shows up, then sure, sure, I'll, oh, I'll he'll, let he'll him know so that he can also it. so that he can also go down the portal and leave me behind. Okay, yeah, you can sure. come whenever you'd like as well, and you know. Oh, really? I'm going to sure. Steve here to let him run away? I, like, I'm Bram, he's really Bramble's fast. here. Bram, Bram, <laughs> him too. She looks over at Randall. That twig's arms, he's not, there's no way he's going to put this one back to sleep. He's stronger than you think. I think. Bramble's looking like... <laughs> I'm not impersonating Bramble. I'm just doing a look. <laughs> it definitely doesn't believe you. Like uh, she's just looking Bramble. She's looking. She's just like mm, nah. Yep, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Let me know when the fun's over, and uh, I can. Uh, I don't know. Join. Well, enjoy your that. She points at. Whatever she's drinking, as Winter's really not very good at figuring out will, what different alcoholic beverages are. Don't worry, I will. It's free. <laughs> okay. That, that makes sense. And I'm just going to turn and go straight for the uh, portal with Iggy right beside me. As you as you begin to leave and, and you get to go back through the secret door, you hear a moaning. And then all of a sudden you hear, <coughs> and you look back as you see as that thing is bash the cup into the the in the bar he's sitting in as he started to wake up. And she goes back to drinking, and I kind of give this look of Ooh, I don't want to get on her bad side and continue. You didn't get that from her fighting the the cheating gamblers the first time we met. <laughs> this is this is a good question. He's trying to like. It, though. She was kind of half on, but now, now she really decided she doesn't want to be on Daphne's bad side. <laughs> okay, when that with that comedy act over, we'll switch back over to the rest of y'all. Uh, so it's the thug's turn. <laughs> it's really not a good position for them, so I'm just gonna roll here. <laughs> This has what? been a bad night for all thugs. He basically yeah. already lost. Yeah. There's also one yeah, with a knife at his throat, so... And one of them is unconscious, so, you know. Okay. So, the one with a knife to his throat is, like, shaking in your arms, and the other one is just, like, he 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 was in the process of getting up, but now he's gone. He's just gone stiff as he just seems to be frozen as he realizes what's going <coughs> on around him. Okay. Okay. Um. Just don't get. Just don't. Get, don't kill us, man. We surrender. It's it, it's cool. We surrender. Look over at your unconscious buddy. So. So. In this turn. We can. I mean, they've surrendered. We continue with the. Well, Harmony is not... Harmony may be controlled enough not to kill them, but he's not not going to knock this guy unconscious with the back of his spear. <laughs> I mean, if, unless anyone wants to stop them, I don't see the point in not skipping to that part. 
Yeah, so he's just like, yep, yeah, so he's just like, he lets like a yell, it's like a swing, and he's like, a thwack, into the guy's head. And then he just turns and looks at Arian, like, you got this? And then he jumps back down in the hole. Yes. Quite so. <coughs> As he's sitting there with the knife, just kind of grazing it along the guy's chin and throat, just to Kind of remind them that there's a knife there. He he doesn't move or struggle in your in your arms at all. Um, Harmony, you jump back uh, back down and you see Curiosity's trying to like kind of help Novi kind of understand what's going on. And she just seems to she's she's trying she's looking about and she. Eventually, as she's, as she's looking and you jump down, she settles her eyes on you and she looks and she says, Harmony, is that you? Yeah, it's me. What? And you seem like almost in a second she remembers and she starts reaching for her weapon and... Oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> Putting like hand on shoulders like, no, we, get, we took care of it. Uh... My grandfather, he was he was upstairs. Is he all right? We haven't gotten upstairs yet. I'll go check. Can you I'm coming with you. Is no, she... stay. No, no. I'm not leaving. He, I left him upstairs. I need to see. Just just take me with you. All right, we're helping her. Okay. I was like, uh, so there's like, so there's like a dead, so there's, you said there was like a dead guy that had the the her, her weapon in him, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'll, I'll I'll pull that out of the guy and hand it to her. I need this. She takes it and she's a little shaky, but she she nods and she she puts it into her belt. She doesn't have her sheath. You think maybe as you look at her like she, they probably surprised her and she probably just grabbed it, but she, she's not really thinking and not really even wiping the blood off. She puts it into like a belt she's wearing, and she she kind of puts her arm around you and she says. I can't really climb that, I don't think. Uh, is there space enough for me to fly that? <laughs> like, to fly us up? I mean, you can you can get a good leap with your... All right, you yep. we're leaping that. up. We're leaping out of the hole. Okay. As you guys, you come up. Um, she looks about, she sees what's going on, she sees the other two unconscious ones. <coughs> she looks at... I don't... I think there were only four think that that's all here. But I still need to go and make sure he's fine. He's alright. What? What's what's going on now? Her grandfather's Am upstairs. I... Zoom. <laughs> oh. Both area and Vinda go zoom zoom. But you're, you're holding the guy hostage. You can't go zoom. <laughs> I'm hasty. <laughs> yes, I can. Are you, gonna, uh, are, you, are you taking him with you? No. You I let his hit... No, I, uh, I let his head go and plunk on the floor to okay. knock him out, and then I go up. Okay. All right, so the two of you, before Novi can say anything, the two of you race up, and you can you get upstairs, and the upstairs looks pretty undisturbed. You don't see anyone. You even seem to notice. You see some, you see a couple of the, the helpers, the people who work for them, cleaning the tables. They seem undisturbed. <laughs> Uh, I will ask him if they have seen uh, Novi's grandfather, the owner Dubron of the Dubron is the name. What was it? Dubron. 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 Yes. If they had seen Dubron. She, she points over at the corner table and you see him like half passed out, kind of napping on his on his hand. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, that will do. And Ari will... They go back to work and they're like, don't as, remember seeing you go downstairs. Yeah, as Ari just goes zoom zoom downstairs too. Yep. And Vinda kind of pauses for a moment. Okay. Um. And zooms back down. As you guys are upstairs, uh, Novi, you're in harmony. You guys are in the room alone for a minute, and she she looks at you and she says, "Where did you come? Where did they come from? What? <coughs> what are you here?" Yeah, the uh, sleeping messy R. There's a portal that leads directly there. A portal? 
You mean underneath the bar? I yeah, right on in that grate that we came out of. I'm afraid we spooked him a little bit when we confronted them. It's, uh, <laughs> so this is um, a little... it's our fault. She she clutches where her wound was. Yeah, I think a little. I was down here. I was just stalking the room, and they came out of nowhere. Fortunately, I I keep my sword down here too, a spare sword, especially after we trained. I thought it was something you said once, and I managed to get one of them. But there were just they they surprised me. Glad we managed to get here, but this was rushed in without knowing that there was a portal leading here. I thought they were trapping it slowly. I didn't think that this would happen. It's okay. I'm... You got here uh, just in time, it would seem. Just so that counts. Let's, let's go check on your grandfather. Before, and as you guys start moving towards the stairs, the two fast, the two speedsters come back down to the bottom of the stairs, right in front of the two of you. He's all right. He's currently almost passed out uh, on a table upstairs. He should be okay. Um, maybe get him another drink here in a minute. But that's it. No, no. He, he that's he's not that's um, can you, here, I just need to sit, and she points, she tries to, she, just over by the stairs. So, so, are you alright? Um, I think so. Curiosity, I think, and just a little, it's a lot, I don't, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Uh, nice to see you all again. And she, she kind of elbows you. You didn't say goodbye, though. Figures. <coughs> I do. Yeah, I was kind of like, uh, look a little bit away. And then curiosity pops up from the grave. He's the unconscious <laughs> people. He's like, wow, I thought they would all be dead. <laughs> well, they <laughs> What can I Winter, question? You, you're my, coming my, uh, out of the portal now. My, uh, what can I question? My uh, second, my 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 second batch didn't work, so they went. <laughs> I didn't kill him because my second spell didn't go off. <laughs> yeah, uh, and then Vin Vinda is not happy with these people <laughs> at all. On. Me Say, to be honest, I'm surprised they're not dead either. And she kind of looks back at you, Harmony. Good. It's probably for the best, and at least this way they can be arrested. Yeah. That brings up a question: Who arrests them? Zagata or Sea Shine? Well, seeing as the guards and Sea Shine don't seem to care about the game. <coughs> That operates. Yeah, there. there is that. There, there is that. It probably, um. But how are we gonna explain all this? It's still, I mean. Maybe I'm just not thinking clearly, but. Uh, there's, there's broken bottles of poisonous booze in the bottom of my. of my basement, and there's a dead guy at the bottom of that basement. Curiosity goes over to the bottles of booze, like uses this water conjuring spell to flush it down the grate. <laughs> How many coffee... winter? <laughs> yeah, <The> winter. <laughs> so, oh, no. so Rafi, Rafi was you didn't notice this until <laughs> until you started cleaning it up, but Rafi started the process of drinking the booze. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, Rafi, Rafi, no, no, that's poison. Are you stupid? What are you doing? We have fermented goat's milk. Why are you? <laughs> and as Do you want to go blind? He rolls his eyes. Just gives him this look like I'm a familiar. But and as so oh, as he starts cleaning it up, 
brushing not just like you know, such liquid but also broken glass and crate down on the gutter winter you're rising from the portal and you start walking up and you just see glass water and booze washing down the crate towards you um, <laughs> um, um I please? try to jump back through the portal. <laughs> See, you, you just, you get up there, you're just like, ah! <laughs> it makes you, as you jump back to avoid, you actually end up falling backwards into the portal, because you're not quite certain how it works, and you rise again, but this time you rise and fall down onto the ground, back, back of the sleeping messier's basement. Curiosity hears that the only the only thing he hears from Winter is a quick. <laughs> oh, I forgot that Winter might have been kind of. Kind of I was just trying to. I thought she was going to be longer talking to um, to Daphne. There's now no Winter, no idea. Uh, you you hear no sounds coming from the grate anymore. Um, I better go down and check. <laughs> As you wish. Uh, I suppose we should uh, take at least one of these, one of these gentlemen back to Daphne, and let her make a full proper arrest, since she is the leading authority here. Or at least. Oh, yeah, that's true. We've been working with a, a dwarf paladin on this thing, so. We can take them to her. Yeah, that might simplify matters, actually, yeah. Make it disappear, Avoid you know, like the... it never happened. Well, it is either that, or I... brush oh. things under the, uh... Rug. the, uh, Fade Dominion, which... Rug. Yes, the rug. The expression is rug, Harry. <laughs> A little bit more than you think, my dear. So, so, there... <laughs> leave again, then? No. For the moment, at least, we shall. Uh, how many? Take your time. So, v v Vinda is going down and checking things. Uh, <laughs> so, Ari, are you so. then helping the, the thugs down, back down the creek? Yeah. Uh, I will let Harmony and Belvi have a few minutes. So everybody else is just ditching. All right, so you so you sweep things and then you just ditch. You're like, we're going back to Seashine where there's less drama. Nope, so I'm letting you drama. hate yourself now, boy. <laughs> <laughs> you left without telling her goodbye. That is your fault. You have to uh, deal with that rope now. <laughs> Everyone's just like... Goodbye, Novi. We hope, uh, Everyone's we wishing they had shadow walking things like Gorm. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just fades. And it's like the Simpsons fade into the hedge, except they're fading down the grate into the portal. Yep. Well, no, I we can't, took all I can't three of the people with yet. you. Bye. We're leaving. I can't do that yet. I can just make a bridge out of darkness. Mm -hmm. Not yet. You can't do it. <laughs> so what the what is, what is the deal with the portal? Well, We'll get to that. Um, let's get through the mm. role playing things before we can. You're gonna. Mm. And you'll be able to investigate it anyway from where you are. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's everyone. Everyone leaves you. And you're sitting on the stairs with Naomi, who's just kind of awkwardly twitching with her fingers and looking down at her shirt, which has a giant hole in it. Just kind of fiddling with it. Oh, it's gonna go so bad. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Here a minute. Let's see. That's how we want to play this. 